hit the like button when you see Conor McGregor appear on the screen. Thank you so fucking much. Yo, what's up everybody? Adam Marcy with UFC 3 Tips and Tricks. In this video, we're gonna have Yoel Romero, Kobe Covington, and Daniel Cormier face off against each other to see who could score the most takedowns in one round. In each of these fights, I'm gonna do my best to pull as many different takedowns out of the bag as possible so this way I could display them and hopefully help you guys score your own takedowns. But at the end of the day, it's about trying to score and spam as many takedowns as possible in a single round. So before the video starts, go to the comments and let me know, who do you think is gonna win the takedown challenge? Is it Romero, is it Covington, or is it Daniel Cormier? And then you can visit your own comment when the video's over to see if you were right. If you like this kind of comment, please make sure to like the video and let me know in the comment section. This way I know to do kind of more quirky and, and outside of the box ideas like this, or if you just prefer gameplay with straight up tips, let me know that as well. And I'm always keeping my ear to the streets, all right? Let's get started with the takedown record in one round. All right, let's get started. Our first matchup is Yoel Romero going against Wanderlei Silva. And if I didn't mention this already, all of these fights are in quick play. I'll be honest, I tried to do them against Division 5 and Division 6 players. It's not that I can't score multiple takedowns, but I can't score as many takedowns that would be needed, you know, to make a, a funny video in Divisions 5 and 6. So let's get started with the analysis. As you guys know, when you go up against the cage, if you perform a slam, that was just a regular takedown, but if you perform a slam, the game gives you two takedowns. So I debated if I wanted to keep like a real takedown count or just basically keep the point system that they have. Let's just stick with the point system, man. Let's make this fun. Okay, I don't know why they award you two takedowns for a slam, but whatever. So right now, Romero's got four, and that, that was just his fifth one right there. At the end of each round, you're gonna see the stats, so you'll know how many is there for sure. But if we're counting live, um, that's the sixth one, and he finally bl um, blocks a transition. Now, out of all the transitions in the game, that one's actually harder for me to block, because in UFC 2, when somebody would get up from their top position, you had to do R2 and down. And I got so used to that, that to this day, I still do R2 and down. But anyway. Here we go, whenever you hit somebody with that overhand right, you're gonna wanna go for the double leg. Wanderlei Silva, he knew that I was just gonna get up right away. He probably thinks I have no ground game. So right here, basically any time that's not spent completing takedowns is really basically fucking up your score. So as you guys can see, based on this much time spent on the ground, I don't know if, if Romero's gonna be the winner here. But I guess we just have to wait and see. Now this is a major strong point in terms of me for takedowns. That was a weird way to say that. <laughs> um, but I'm working my clinch denials. I'm probably gonna block a strike here, and, uh, a, a transition and go right for the takedown. I know how I play so well that I could pretty much just anticipate it. I was waiting on him to do a knee or an, an elbow strike because then I would block it and very simply Go for the takedown. Now that was an embarrassing takedown on his end. He should have definitely been able to deny that. So this was my first attempt at setting the takedown record. Um, as you can see, there were some trials and tribulations. I made some mistakes. I'm gonna try to earn some points back here by um, spamming this body lock high slam. As I mentioned before, you get two, two takedowns for that. I mean, they released like 17 patches and they couldn't fix. Just make it a one instead of a two. It just seems so easy. Maybe, is there a reason for this? Am I missing something? You guys let me know in the comments. As far as I'm concerned, that's not two takedowns. That's one takedown, but whatevs. All right, so Romero's got to get one more. I'm going to say he goes to the overhand. Oh, no, does he get the takedown? No, he doesn't. So, I happen to remember there was a total of 14... Right, 14 takedowns, and we had a couple of cage slams in there as well. <clears throat> All right, next we're going against Cowboy 709. This round, or you know, this um, whatever you want to call it, has some surprises in in you, in here for you. Jesus Christ! Right off the bat, see, I learned from my Romero fight. 
I said, look, I'm getting this body lock high slam right off the bat. That's two on the board. Remember, the number to beat is 14, set by An Anthony Romero, by Yoel Romero. Anthony Romero could probably get freaking 30 takedowns in a round. So by the way, what I want you guys to do, if you like this idea, let's get other YouTubers in on the action. Let's um, challenge, I'm gonna challenge Anthony Romero to do this same challenge and see how many he can score. Or if he could even tie or come close to my total, but in ranked. I think that would be so much more impressive for him to score even 10, even 10 takedowns in a ranked match as compared to what I'm about to do in unranked. I would say, um, that would take more talent for him to do that. But um, yeah, I think it would be cool to just expand the kind of content that we see these other YouTubers doing. So let's do it, baby. Right here, I should have definitely blocked that right off the bat. I noticed that he liked to do a transition in the first thing in the clinch. So I said, fuck it, I'm going right for the takedown. Let's be honest, these guys aren't the most skilled anyway. So when you see me trying, oh, and there's the surprise. I knew it was coming. I think he recognized that I was swaying and um, then he threw one too many strikes and I got the automatic takedown. If you guys didn't know why that's automatic, it was because his stealth, his health, not his stealth, was, was half of what mine was. So I had such a uh, drastic stamina advantage that it becomes an automatic takedown. Right here, I'm certainly gonna push him against the cage. Let's go right into that body. No, we shouldn't even give him, there we go. I'll be honest, I felt cheap keep um, when I kept going to the body lock high slam because he clearly didn't know how to defend it. And I wanted to make some interesting footage. You know, I wanna get some counter takedowns and you know, things of that sort. What I was trying to do there, which I failed at, is if you slip an uppercut, uh, or even a second uppercut, which will make this even more drastic, you could go right for the takedown. It'll be a free takedown. Basically, the more punches you sway, the more that they miss, that is gonna get you really easy takedowns. Oh, he hit me with an uppercut, and I'm trying to get some last minute points with the body lock high slam, because his ass cannot defend it. All right, we got 20 seconds left, let's see. He's either got to knock me up. I try to go for the, the high takedown. Let's see. I think he's got one more surprise for me right there. And there it is. I, bam. So, Till wins the round. But Covington set at least the temporary takedown record. Um, I know I forgot to include how much he had right there. I'll try to put it in, in editing. All right. So Covington, if, if my memory serves me right, I'm gonna try to go get the exact number and put it in there. But um, I think it was about 16. I remember, I'll just keep it real with you. <clears throat> he beat Yoel Romero, because I counted already when I made the video. He beat Yoel by like one or two takedowns. So it was very close, but Colby outdid Yoel. Let's see if Cormier is gonna become the takedown champion. Right off the bat, he gets right to work. Now, one thing I realized in my last two attempts, it's pretty much all about how quickly you can get up. Not only that, but notice, I should have went with a slam right there. Uh, and I forget what I was gonna tell you to notice there. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say notice, when he's up against the cage, he automatically does the um, transition that goes up to break. So I noticed that, and I'm pretty sure in my, um, Next time I put him up against the cage, I'm gonna remember that. So I need him to get up as quick as possible. I'm fainting the takedown. Oh, and I really should have went for a takedown right after that straight landing. Now, remember what I said at the beginning of this video. My goal was to not just, you know, I could have spammed cage takedowns this entire match and, and got him the most takedowns, but I wanted to at least keep it a little bit interesting. Um, and, and, that, and I did that by getting different takedowns. Oh, 
I think right there I was trying to push him up against the cage. And that takedown denial is going to really F me up. Oh, and he's got two. Let's see. Maybe Cormier is going to do the worst out of everybody. <laughs> Three major sways in a row. Uh-oh. Cormier goes for the slip straight takedown. Let's go, bro. We got to get back up. As you see right there, I'm trying to land these takedowns like I just did there. Sorry for that glitch, but one of my favorite takedowns is basically, and take note of this in your head, it's to slip a punch, doesn't matter if it's a hook, an uppercut, a straight, whatever, slip the punch and then take him down immediately after. He's gonna go for that up transition, and I guess I forgot right there, but I'll do it later in the, in the fight. Look, probably right here. I'm, I'm slapping myself because I'm like, damn, he does the same up trend. And again, I didn't do it. Okay, now, now I'm going to remember to do it because I definitely just got heated at myself. There you go. You know what actually happened? I remember it. I thought <clears throat> that transition was left. So I kept missing it and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'm just not pressing it fast enough. This transition that he's probably going to do again. Oh wow, he denied my transition. That transition where he tries to push you away is up. Okay, so as you guys can probably tell, Daniel Cormier did not set the record in this round. But, to your surprise, even with, even after shooting for about 20 takedowns, 19 to be exact, and scoring 16 of them, Daniel Cormier still has enough energy in the tank to go for one more round to see if he can score the new takedown record. So he, he just about ties Colby. But if you remember, I got stuck a couple of times in that first round and I knew I can do so much better than this. So I'm going for it again. Take this second, instead of staring at the 3D cheerleader butts, go, go hit the like button, go comment, what you think of this video so far, any improvements I could have made to it, and make sure you call somebody out, call out another YouTuber to do this challenge. Boston Lyman is saying, thank you. <laughs> and right off the bat, he stuffs my takedown. How is Cormier gonna set the record? So right there, I did what I mentioned before. He's spamming uppercuts, so I'm slipping the uppercut and I'm hitting one in between. Wow, this is a, a much, wow, there you go, there's a different one. That's a takedown in the middle of a prey. Why I didn't go for a slam there, I will never know. I'm probably just trying to keep it diverse. I don't want to just keep using the same shit. Like right there, I could have easily done another cage takedown, but I'm trying to show you guys different looks. Right here, I'm trying to do these slip and weave takedowns. In case you're wondering why am I playing like an idiot, it's because I'm trying to not just do the same shit over and over again. I'm trying to basically utilize different kinds of takedowns. Oh, right there, I should have slipped for a double right under. Right there, I utilize a hit reaction takedown. I hit him with a jab hook right here. <clears throat> Right here, I, a lot of people don't even know this exists, from various cage positions in the clinch, there's a takedown from, all, from pretty much all of them. And once you hit the takedown from the other position, your opponent thinks, oh, he's going to try to go back to that, then it pretty much opens up a lot of the easier things. I should be blocking the crap out of these transitions, it's pretty embarrassing that I'm not. Boston Lyman, not the hardest to take down. We gotta be real with ourselves. We were facing some scrubs, we're not gonna lie. There we go, right under the overhand. He's starting to get a little bit desperate. <laughs> That's gotta be my favorite kind of takedown, is just slipping uppercuts 
and then taking him down. Because you know the opponent is like, well, there's no way he can take me down if I'm landing uppercuts. It's got to slip it and then go for the takedown right in between. Let's go right into that. Oh. Thank God I blocked him there. I was going to be super pissed at myself if I did it. All right, we got a little bit more time. Daniel, under. There we go. Let's see if we can get one more cage slam takedown. One more cage slammer. Duck, and there it is. That's not a cage slam, but at least we got one more takedown. All right, show the total. Daniel Cormier scores 18 takedowns in a round based on the bullshit point system. And there you have it, the first ever inaugural takedown in a round champion. If you guys wanna break my record, just record your clip where you score more than 18 points of takedowns in a single round, send it to me, and then I'll compile clips from the audience and I'll do what I just did except to your clips, okay? So score more than 19, more than 18 takedowns in a round, send me the clip, and I'll make a video showing your awesome gameplay footage, all right? If you like the video, make sure you leave a comment, you like it, and call out another YouTuber in the comments challenging them to this challenge. If you have any other cool ideas for challenges, let me know that as well. And now I'm overstaying my welcome. This is the Italian chatterbox in me. All right, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys.